Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies, episode seven. So a bit of a crossover with episode six. Finding my love. A favor where I'm in love. Open up my mouth, do I make decisions, or has that not been allowed? Am I a puppet in a dream? Everything, all the hands that point directions, open doors to good connections, I'm a product of pulling strings. A bit who everyone thinks. You killed it. This also made me emotional, so maybe it was just a hard day for me, but incredible performance. I love the lyrics, Justin. I love the performance, Jason. I just, wow, amazing. His song is definitely one of my favorite numbers so far. Although Buddy's been a pretty decent guy or trying to be, and he even messes up like he doesn't make the right decision, it just, it melted my heart. Buddy learns that his whole life is a lie. There's a, a lot of doubt then in your self-identity, what you're worth, what you're even good at if your whole life has been bought for you. I certainly wouldn't be able to cope with it. You would be second guessing everything that has ever happened in your life. Imagine the imposter syndrome after learning something like that. The parallels of these kids, oh my goodness, just when one is cleaning up his life and, and weaning off of the substance abuse, one is starting. Oh, this was so visually stunning and it really, really hit home. I loved this part. The juxtaposition of the privilege that Buddy has had his whole life and yet he's still suffering and then Richie, who has suffered a lot in his life, being a minority and an outcast, yet they both had the same outcome, turning to alcohol abuse. It's just heartbreaking and beautifully done. Boethia, mwah. We start off finally learning a bit more about the T-Birds. Potato, he has two little siblings that he's taking care of. He's speaking Spanish to them, super cute. But he came back different after the war. It doesn't make a difference. We also learn that Gil is the caretaker of the family. At least you guys have death been the man of the house since I was eight years old and I'm exhausted. We just see a lot more responsibility and pain on these boys' shoulders. It's nice to also humanize them because last episode we humanized Susan. And we really see how torn up Richie is. He's dealing with a lot of inner demons and it really comes out in, in the hit me again scene. Hey, what's the point of trying when you don't have a chance? So hit me again. This was actually a really difficult episode to film. It really made me emotional to watch. I don't know if it's me just remembering that or because Alethea and the actors and everybody just did such an incredible job. I think this was my favorite episode so far. I came to talk to you. Yeah, me too. Separately? Oh. Yeah, no, I'll be... My turn? It's so funny. It's really organically awkward and funny. You don't have to decide now. I'll let Buddy say his piece. We'll give you some time. I love that Richie redeems himself with Jane. Like he was a huge jerk, but the way he allows her the space to make the decision for herself, um, he's not pushing her, he's not guilting her. That was like redemption right there. I just want to get weird like, yeah, okay. We worked as stand-ins on the whole show, so this was me and the other ones just having some fun. I'm leaving you hanging. You're the one that lost all our money. You know, I just do it because of my dad. I wish my dad. <clears throat> I don't know, this desert air is dry, huh? Very dry. I'm parched. <clears throat> Allergies. It's the dust. Plus, I got the hay fever. That's Before going around. It. <laughs> They're probably cutting onions again. That explains it. Yeah, it's the enzyme. Your jacket's all dusty. I think we got it. Yep. Just admit that you have emotions. Damn. It's just a nice reminder though that men do have a difficult time being vulnerable and opening up. Honestly, that does have devastating consequences. So I'm a huge advocate for mental health and for men to seek help and be open with each other, communicate. 